The map of our world is about to change. And I'm not talking about China breaching boundaries. I'm talking about the continent of Africa splitting into two. The African continent as we know it is about to vanish from the world map forever. In a sobering reminder that Mother Nature does not recognize man-made borders, scientists have discovered a massive rift emerging in Africa that will split the entire continent in two and displace millions of people. Not only will this event result in the devastation of the African continent, it will also form an entirely new ocean that will change our planet forever. But what is causing this terrifying event? Can humanity prepare for one of the largest natural disasters of all time, or is it too late? Let's get right into it. Recent photographs provide a glimpse into the profound geological transformation occurring in parts of Africa. Scientists assert that the continent is undergoing a significant rift, a process that will eventually lead to the creation of a new ocean and the emergence of a new continent. While this intricate geological evolution spans millions of years, the current observations suggest that present-day Somalia and sections of Kenya, Ethiopia and Tanzania are gradually peeling away from the rest of the continent. The impending formation of a new ocean and continent heralds a monumental shift in Earth's landscape. This transformative process is anticipated to bring forth a myriad of consequences ranging from positive to disruptive. The magnitude of these changes prompts contemplation about whether humans will endure long enough to witness the profound alterations that lie ahead. The complex process of Africa splitting into two involves a geological phenomenon known as rifting. This phenomenon occurs when a single tectonic plate undergoes tearing, leading to the formation of two or more tectonic plates separated by divergent plate boundaries. The roots of this phenomenon trace back at least 138 million years, marking a time when South America and Africa existed as distinct continents. A fascinating aspect of this geological puzzle lies in the resemblance of the west coast of Africa to the east coast of South America. Their contours fit together seamlessly, akin to two interlocking jigsaw pieces. This alignment serves as a geological testament vividly illustrating that these continents were once interconnected as part of a single landmass. Over the past 30 million years, the Arabian plate has gradually drifted away from Africa, leading to significant geological transformations such as the creation of the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. The monumental event that anticipates the future breakup of Africa is closely tied to the East African Rift System. This extensive geological feature is a massive crack, measuring 56 kilometers or 35 miles in length and first emerged in the Ethiopian desert in 2005. The East African Rift is one of the largest rifts globally, extending for thousands of kilometers through multiple African countries. The formation of this rift, marked by the colossal crack, is poised to initiate the creation of the world's sixth ocean. Seismic data indicates that the processes triggering the formation of the East African Rift mirror similar tectonic activities transpiring at the bottom of the ocean. The discovery of this crack occurred at the convergence point of three tectonic plates, African Nubian, African Somali, and Arabian, that have been gradually separating over time. The East African Rift Valley stretching over 3,000 kilometers, extends from the Gulf of Aden in the north to Zimbabwe in the south. This geological feature serves as a division line, separating the African plate into two distinct parts, the Somali and Nubian plates. While the process of rifting has been ongoing for an extended period, global attention was drawn to the potential split when a significant crack appeared in the canyon of the Rift Valley in 2018. Scientists emphasize that the eventual split of Africa into two parts, forming a new ocean, is a process that won't occur in the near future. 
The current rate of the Arabian plate drifting away from Africa is about one inch per year. To complete the formation of the new ocean, it is estimated to take at least five to 10 million years. This geological transformation could potentially grant landlocked countries in Africa their own coastlines over the course of millions of years. Speculatively, if the geopolitical landscape remains similar, landlocked countries may gain coastlines. The smaller continent formed by the rift could include present-day Somalia and parts of Kenya, Ethiopia, Eritrea, Djibouti, Tanzania and Mozambique. Geologists highlight the dynamic nature of the emerging continents, suggesting that the smaller continent resulting from the rift may drift away from the larger part of Africa. This movement could lead to various scenarios, including the formation of new nations, the merging of existing nations, or the complete separation of land masses. Geologists predict that Madagascar, currently an island off the southeastern coast of Africa, may itself break apart into smaller islands. Speculatively, the new ocean that could eventually form in five to 10 million years might be named the African Ocean. Based on recent measurements, it appears that the Gulf of Aden and the Red Sea will flood into the Afar region, extending into the East African Rift Valley. This process could eventually result in the formation of the new African Ocean, and the affected area in East Africa may evolve into its own distinct and smaller continent. If these geological changes unfold as predicted, the world will witness the emergence of an eighth continent with significant implications for the global map and Earth's geological history. The emergence of a new coastline due to the continental split would present both challenges and opportunities for the previously landlocked countries, including Congo, Uganda, Rwanda and Burundi. While the process of creating new harbors and establishing direct connections to the rest of the world would involve significant financial investments, the advantages could be substantial. Access to the sea would result in a reduction in international logistical expenses, as these countries would no longer depend solely on neighboring coastal nations for sea freight and transportation. Building harbors would enable direct shipping and fishing industries to thrive, creating economic opportunities that didn't exist before. While the emergence of new coastlines does offer a multitude of economic opportunities, including increased maritime activities and potentially shorter trade routes, it also raises important questions about the advantages and potential challenges for Africa. One significant consideration is whether the two emerging continents would remain connected or eventually split like North and South America. The future of their relationship would likely depend on various factors, including trade, geopolitical agreements and diplomatic relations. The question of foreign influence and control over new maritime routes is also crucial. It would depend on how African nations navigate international relations, negotiate trade agreements, and assert control over their newly acquired coastlines. Security implications, both in terms of geopolitical stability and displacement, are significant concerns. Displacement with the creation of new coastlines and potential changes in geographical features could impact numerous countries. Managing these shifts would require coordinated efforts in planning, infrastructure development, and addressing potential humanitarian challenges. Hey Spacers, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to be notified of new and awesome space content. And now, let's continue. In 2015, the United Nations Environment Programme reported that over 15 million people in Africa were internally displaced. As this landmass continues to split in the future, it is anticipated that communities, settlements and diverse flora and fauna will face further destruction of their habitat as the earth shatters below their feet. The consequences of these geological shifts extend to climate change, contributing to environmental degradation. 
Changes in temperature and weather patterns are expected to negatively affect ecosystems, leading to the potential extinction of certain plant and animal species. Additionally, forced habitat changes caused by the split may place other species in jeopardy. Rapid urbanization and the expansion of human settlements further compound these challenges. The increased human presence puts substantial pressure on natural resources, potentially resulting in a scarcity of essential elements such as water, energy, and food. Dramatic events like abrupt motorway splitting faults can lend a sense of urgency to the concept of continental rifting. However, rifting itself is a gradual and largely inconspicuous process. Most of the time, the splitting of Africa occurs without garnering much attention, unfolding over the course of millions of years. The splitting of East Africa from the rest of the continent, when it eventually happens, will be just another chapter in this vast geological narrative. The unfolding of these immense geological changes happens at such a slow pace that, oftentimes, it progresses unnoticed by human observers. The timescales involved make it challenging for individuals to perceive these transformations within the span of a human lifetime. As these geological transformations unfold, we must question our own mortality and if our species will survive to witness these events in the first place. What do you think, spacers? Will humanity still be here to witness the formation of this new continent? Or will we have to move to Mars after all? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe like, comment, and share. Thank you for spacing out with us and see you next video.